but it is brilliant Beatles song, Paperback Writer. It's a nice one to learn. You've basically got a riff, plays in the intro and choruses, and two chords, okay? And I'm playing for the riff. It's based around a G7. It's such a great riff. I'm playing... So I'm playing a G on three on the E string. Then hammering from three to five, C to D on the A string. And then on top of that, a G on five on the D string. Then I'm playing G to F. So I'm just picking three to three on the E and D strings. And then G to C. So three to three, but this time on the E and A strings. So. Then playing again, three to three, but this time as I play that three on the A string, the C hammering to a D on five. And then the last two notes I play are an F and a B. Okay, the seventh and the third of the chord together. So that's as a bar, I'm, bar, I'm still barring across the third fret with three and four of the D and G strings. So all together you've got Okay, and um, so that crops up uh, in the intro and the choruses and then the rest of the song play G back to your riff. So it's very simple. On the G chord, I'm playing just a root and fifth, three and five, and then adding a six. So I'm adding an E on seven on the A string. Okay, and then I slide up to a C. So I'm on 8 and 10, adding 12. And then you go back to the... And on the outro, you've just got a G, and I'm playing... So I'm just playing that G as a bar chord, and then just... Play G G G G. Okay, three five three five on E and D. So it's a great two chord song, an absolute classic. And next we'll take a look at the brilliant Paul McCartney bass line. I'm starting with a slide down from G on the 12th fret of the G string. Okay, I'm just and going to a G on five on the D string. Also later on, you'll hear a variation on that. Where instead of just doing a single note, it does an F to a G, 10 to 12, on the G string. Okay, great little intro there. And then we've got the main riff, and it's mainly around G, D, and F, but we've got a few extra notes in there as well. So I'm starting with, so it's one, two, three. So that's the first bit, I'm playing a G on five on the G string, on the D string, sorry. Then D, F, G, G, G. Five, three, back to the G on five. So all on the A and D strings. I play open A, B, C to D. Open two, three, five. And then I've got I play the G on I'm going down to the low G now on three. Then doing a hammer on three. Five, five, C, D, 
uh, C D G. So then another variation here, G C D going to the F. Three, three, five, three on the E, A, and D strings. So Okay, and then so so the rest of the time after that, just continuing on that verse. With those three notes, D, F, G. Okay, so we're just those three notes there. And then we've got coming into the C chord, we play a little fill. So that last that last G. Ba, 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 da, da. So I'm sliding to an E, play the G. Back to the E, so seven, 5 to 7 on A, 5, 7, 5. So, so. And I've got C, C, and I'm just C, C, G, A, B flat, B, little chromatic fill. Three, three on A, three open A, one, two, and then so just C, C, G, A, C the second time, so and then just stop on a G there, the paperback writer, paperback writer, and then you're back into. Yeah. Um, just, just back into the what we played earlier. Okay, so once you've learned basically that, and then towards the end, there's a kind of just stays on a G, and I play. Just playing those kind of first two riffs round and round, okay? And there's a few variations here and there, but once you've got those um, riffs learned, you've basically got it, and it's a great tune. So uh, thanks for watching, buddies, and have some fun. Cheers.